What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We are back with a Tenorgen Spotlight video. And yes, it has been a very long time since I have created a Tenorgen Spotlight video. I apologize for that. I didn't realize it had been two whole years since I made one of these videos. I could have sworn it wasn't even a year, but anyways, um, I've done similar stuff. Uh, recent, well, more recently, such as kind of some fashion frame type stuff and uh, the quick look videos I also uh, started doing. So if you are not familiar with the series, these are the Warframe Tenogen skins that I personally have purchased. And I go through and I show you guys my theme or the reason why I have designed and uh, even equipped the weapons and whatnot for this Warframe, uh, you know, why I did that, as well as, of course, Fashion Frame for the Warframe skin itself. So I'm really excited because today we are going to be taking a look at the Mag Alana skin, which is by one of my favorite creators, Hitsusan. And I purchased a few skins of Hitsusan's already, and that's because I adore the work. The work is fantastic. The theme and the, uh, the aesthetic really fits my personal kind of aesthetic. So, so this video is going to go pretty deep. Like all my Tenogen Spotlights, we are going to take a serious look at the Warframe and go through capture and see all sorts of great stuff. So right off the bat, we are going to take a look at the default color scheme for the Mag Alata. And this is a default color scheme that ends up in one of my final fashion frames. Um, I guess you could say it's not even my fashion frame technically because it's the default color scheme. But I feel like the colors that Hitsusan places on most of his skins, I really enjoy and end up keeping as one of my fashion frames. So uh, we will take a look at that right off the bat. The the accessories that I'm primarily going to be using in this video are going to be the Tenocon 2018 uh, pieces, mostly the shoulder pieces. Um, if you do not have those, I also primarily use the Acanthus pieces, which uh, you guys can see as we go through. But uh, you'll see the shoulder pieces and the, the leg pieces primarily uh, alternating back and forth between the 20. Uh, Tenocon 2018 as well as the Acanthus so if you're interested in that same with the chest piece and then the Cyandon is going to change pretty much on every fashion frame I think it actually does each one is different however in this we are going to be seeing th I think three Cyandonas by other Tenogen creators so I want to make sure I give them their due purpose their due diligence and sh give them a shout out when we take a look at those Cyandonas so uh, this default color scheme, really, really enjoy it. The mag skin, the helmet, I really, really, really like. The lines that come down, it still kind of follows that mag uh, energy kind of theme that fits with the helmet, but it does it in a, a more closed off and a cyborg like way. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but it, it appears more of a solid helmet rather than like a piece of glass or something with energy swirling within it. Um, I like it. I think it looks great. Uh, it sticks true with the mag's original theme in terms of the arms. Uh, the, the spiraling metallics that come down the arms uh, are, are basically from the default design of mag and that still is there. It stays true to the original form. But in terms of the design, the lines, um, the kind of, I don't know, feel of the of the design is just altogether completely different, but very reminiscent of Hitsusan's previous work. So great, great design, great skin. Um, like I said, I bought it because I love it and it's, it's it, fits, it fits my aesthetic, so. Before we get too far into the video though, this mag is specifically set up with the Tigress Prime, an interesting weapon. Uh, it's mostly oriented towards her magnetize, so I can blast a bunch of pellets into a magnetize, really kick up the damage output of anything that is within that bubble. And, uh, you know, Tigress Prime, I feel like, fits her. Uh, she's a crazy one-shot kind of mag. Uh, she can pull enemies, uh, you know, kind of, kind of leave them staggered and take them out with the Tigress. 
Um, and then, of course, her secondaries are these crazy, uh, fast-firing pistols, the Dex Furus. There's plenty of other options out there, but I throw the Dex Furus on there because I'd like to think of her as an agile, aggressive frame. And when you pop mag magnetize and being able to just load that thing up with bullets, the Dex Furus worked well for that. Lastly is going to be our melee weapon and I'll specifically talk more about this when we get to one of our fashion frames because I feel like I, it really fits in that fashion frame as we get over there. So um, the deep blue is our first fashion frame design and of course some of you are probably like you love your white and blues and yes I, I do love my white and blues. Uh, they they fit a lot of the fashion frames. They fit a lot of the designs. I feel like it's very aesthetically pleasing. Some people may not agree, but if you don't, we'll get into some other colors here in just a little bit. But you will find a similar pattern with most of these fashion frames is where I have a pretty bright uh, uh, primary color, such as this one is my white primary the secondary is followed up by this really light blue there is a bit of green on the shoulders it's a darker green and then the metallics once again are back into that blue color but i think it looks really really gorgeous uh, the shoulders being the tenokan pieces um uh, you know if you if you would like to swap those out that is fine the legs being the acanthus the yamako prime is the cyandana which i can't remember exactly which Prime Access you get the Yamaka Prime uh, from. Maybe it's Volts, maybe it was Vaubans, but I could be completely wrong. Um, that looks really cool. I feel like it fits this design pretty well. Uh, I don't know. She's, she's aggressive. I could even see someone taking this color scheme and trying to get into some more corpusy type weapons with her just because I feel like it would fit. But... Anyways, that's personal choice. All right, this next one is a skin or a fashion frame that I put quite a bit of time into, a lot of time and thought, and this one I really love and adore. Once again, it does kind of sit with these lighter colors as the primary, which is a, a pretty bright white. The secondary actually is kind of a light sandy-ish kind of white as well. Um, so. If you might be on that, your colors are too watered down. I, I kind of throw in some crazy colors, as you can see with this one, where the uh, the tertiary colors, the yellow up in the shoulders and the thighs, uh, down the side of the legs, even spots around you know the stomach area and the back, um, but also it fits in really well with a lot of the accessories we'll talk about in just a second. And then of course that really cool emerald green metallics, which I really, really like. I really love this design. I like the way the colors sit on the frame. I like the way the colors fit into the accessories with just a simple copy from uh, your, your Warframe uh, button. It, fit, it comes across really, really well. The Acanthus arms and shoulders and chest piece, all Acanthus set. And then I have to highlight, because I love the Cyandana, this is a Tenogen Cyandana called the Paxis Cyandana by Malaya and JD. And this follows the kind of winged uh, Cyandana design and it opens up when you do your aim glides and you jump and do all that stuff and it is gorgeous. It's the first winged sign dotted that I personally have purchased because I feel like it really fits a lot of the female frames, especially some of the, you know, the more petite frames like Nova and Mag, of course. Um, I feel like it fits really, really well. And it really hits home for me on this design. Uh, I, I, I just really, really love it. Excellent job, Malaya and JD. It highlights the, the Hitsusan skin, in my opinion, very well. Uh, so uh, great job on both ends. So, all right, so this, this design is where I kind of get into the melee weapon where I run uh, a heavy katana. You can choose which heavy katana you want to use, especially if you go down and buy a Tenojin skin for your heavy katana. But specifically in this one, I'm running the Tatsu and 
I think it looks great. I think the design of the sword really fits the design of the skin. Um, I feel like it doesn't do anything too abstract, which makes it stand out from the skin. So Tatsu, default, regular old Tatsu, looking really, really cool with this design. And this is why I call her my sunlight champion. Oh, she's amazing. Amazing, amazing. Next up, this one is, once again, on the bright side of things. This one isn't too crazy abstract from the others we've seen thus far because it is primary and secondary are a white color. The tertiary is a bit of a brown, which is just splattered across different parts of the frame to kind of give it a little bit of interest. You know, the little tertiary got on the legs, the thighs, uh, a little bit on the stomach again, and the shoulders. Uh, so it's thrown in the back. It, it kind of mixes things up, uh, creates a dark color in there for you. And then, of course, the metallics and the energy color on this thing are a really elegant green, emerald green kind of color. And I really adore it. It's another one that pops over onto the uh, accessories pretty well, where it's uh, it highlights the accessory and makes it look pretty good. The Tenokan shoulder pieces and the leg pieces um, looking great. But we uh, also, again, have another Tenogen Cyandana for this one. And this one is the Nasaru Cyandana by Master Noob. And I really love this Cyandana. It feels very like uh, ancient Orokin or very like high royalty uh, kind of dis feels to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, maybe a really high Warframe uh, ten Tenno Warrior whatever was done with this type of Cyandana um, by the Orokin. But anyways, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I have this on lots and lots of my fashion frames because I, I don't know. I like that kind of aesthetic. So um, that is by Master Noob. And I think it just fits really, really well with kind of this toxic... Uh, I don't want to say toxic because, you know, I mean, I guess you could throw a bunch of poison and stuff on, on Mag and make her a little bit of a, of a nuclear waste Mag. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, this is my Jade Nebula Mag. I think she looks gorgeous. All right, we're getting into another one, which I put a quite a bit of time and thought into, wondering if I should uh, kind of fashion frame something completely new, because this does, once again, kind of follow with some of my previous themes. A white is my primary. My secondary is this gray to kind of toss some interest in there to create kind of that more leathery-ish feel with uh, different aspects of the suit or the Warframe, whatever you want to say. Uh, and I think those two colors uh, kind of accenting, uh, you know, off each other properly gives this a very Warframe-esque feel. And then there is a kind of dark blue, which you can see in the legs and, uh, you know, shoulders once again and a little bit in the stomach in the back. Um, the blue is dark, so it doesn't stand out too much, gives that little bit of accent. But then the primary, like, bronze metallic, I think, really sets this skin a different from all the others. And that's part of the reason why I couldn't get rid of it. I think it is unique enough and really stands out that uh, I just couldn't part ways. So this thing looks gorgeous. Once again, the color schemes transfer over so well to the accessories. Uh, the metallics on the accessories fit that bronze theme. Uh, it's just it's just beautiful. We're going with the Tenokan 2018s for this one again. If you don't have those, that's okay. The Acanthus down on the legs uh, and the chest again. And then we have another Tenogen Cyandana called the Sideco Cyandana by Lead 2012 and Damon Star. And I love this Cyandana. Non-symmetrical, got that really cool like feathery uh, cloth like Part that's down the right hand side looking it just looks beautiful it's another thing that is very warrior-esque but very regal I think it looks really good and then the left hand side just being just metallic on metallic but being spiky and aggressive gives us very uh, like warrior feels it's it's like a it's like a, a, a royal gladiator some some character, some Warframe that was really treasured by the Orokin, but 
man, could this thing really dish out, you know, uh, could bring the fight to, to the battlefield. So I love it. Absolutely love this design. And then lastly, I know some of you are probably yelling at the screen saying, we need darkness. We need some crazy extra whatever. We, we need to stop with all this light-colored stuff. So we have the galactic... In. Well, the galactic theme for the uh, Alana skin, which I have here. I think this thing looks gorgeous. It's a flip in the opposite direction, but stays very true to kind of that, uh, I don't know. It stays true to the skin for sure, but we have the very light-colored, say, uh, Prime Warframes. Uh, the, you know, the, the lighter colors. We also have some dark Warframes, like Ember comes in a dark prime. Uh, this one is kind of flipped on the opposite, where instead of that light prime for uh, Mag, we have a dark prime for Mag, and it gives me this edgy but very Orican feel, and I love it, love it, love it, love it. So, of course, the dark, dark purple in both the primary and secondary slot. We have this really unique green uh, color. It flows really, really well in the energy. Um, looks gorgeous, but also the tertiary is almost like a very deep sea kind of green color, um, which I think looks great on the hips and the shoulders and a little bit in the stomach. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it blends in so well, um, except when you really look at it. But I think that's what makes it fit. I, I don't know. I think it looks really, really great. It's got a beautiful metallic kind of like gold color. And I can't get over how just fantastic this <laughs> this looks. It, it accents the rest of the frame so well. It stays true once again to kind of that prime kind of Oricon feel. But I feel like it just... I don't know it, it it creates this regal feel to a dark and edgy kind of design and I love it so much I love it so much I, I, I don't know if I could ever get rid of this so um, I'm very tempted to farm a whole nother mag to play around with this skin some more because this skin once again just it's so well done it's probably has a limitless number of amazing fashion frames that could be done with it and i feel like i haven't done the entire community justice with my fashion framing because i've just scratched the surface with these light colors the whites you know the the emerald kind of colors i put into the metallics the the gold and kind of copper feels we saw in the metallics and then of course my lame white and blue color scheme. I only say lame because everyone's like, you really, really love your white and blues because I show those off a lot in my quick look videos. So anyways, this is the Mag Alada skin. It is gorgeous. I hope I inspired you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, this, once again, is my Tenogen Spotlight. I'm going to try my best to get around and do the, <laughs> the other Tenogen skins I have bought in the last two years and get spotlights done for those as well but these videos do take a lot of my time this video has taken me just sitting down playing editing capture uh, and and sitting here talking to you guys has been probably 30 hours of actual attention that's like a full work week for for some people part-time job was dedicated to this video and uh these videos don't always do that well and that's okay i really enjoy doing these videos there's some very time consuming portions of these videos but for the most part playing around with these frames doing the captura i really really love some people may not be all that interested in the uh the combat and the gameplay aspect of these fashion frames um so those might end up being coming less and less in future spotlights and maybe more of the capture of stuff i would love to hear your guys feedback about that but yeah i i'm, I'm gonna continue this hopefully i'm gonna get one out um 
sooner rather than two years from now. Um, but thank you guys for your support, um, especially with the quick look videos. You guys have given me a good idea of the skins that you really do enjoy and are interested in. Um, and your feedback, I hear it. I hear all of it. I read it. I will definitely take into account what you guys think. And there are some fashion frames and some Tenogen skins that I really like. And some of you guys were very vocal that you liked it as well. So expect some of those in the near future. So anyways, once again, like I said, thank you so much for the support and all the, the, the responses on the quick looks and all the other good stuff. I appreciate you guys. A thumbs up would be awesome, especially if you made it this far. Um, and you know what? If you've made it this far, I'm going to try and give away... I'm going to try and give away a $10 gift card to the console of your choice uh, for one person. You can put in the comments your favorite Tenogen and your... Put your in-game name, even though I'll probably private message you guys with uh, with whoever the winner. I'll private message you guys with the uh, whoever win it, won it um, and, uh, and your console. If you're on Steam... I'll give you a $10 Steam card. If you are on PlayStation, I'll give you a $10 PlayStation whatever card. If you're on Xbox, I'll give you a $10 card there. Oh, and Twi uh, on Switch, I forgot about that. So if the Nintendo. Um, that way you can purchase a Tenogen skin of your choice. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I will see you guys again in the next video. Blah!